welcome back my dear friends this is the part 2 of a revision and uh, please remember very important areas are coming we discussed the 36 in the partnership and uh, here the remaining 44 and you please remember how we have to practice for the chapters accounting for share capital and here you know six mark question will be there on our uh, two questions will be there choice question and uh, you have to write the entry from bank to share application and up to share for future to capital sir and uh, another or choice question will be there that will be for future case also sometimes it will be a full question and uh, another question you can expect extract drawing the extract of balance sheet and recording the items like uh, authorized the capital issued capital subscribed capital that will be subscribed and fully paid up capital called up capital paid up capital what is the total amount of capital to be shown in the balance sheet extract and also you can expect the preparation of for future account or cash account or share capital account for type for mark questions also from this area 24 mark you can score from this area please remember the entries bank to share application share application to share capital there is any rejection share application to bank and uh, due entry for share allotment share allotment to share capital share application to share allotment will be the excess application adjusted on allotment bank to share allotment is the receiving entry and on first calls it may be share first call or share second call to share capital then bank account entry to share second call or share first call for future entries are very very important and before that you please remember calls in arrear calls in arrear will be always debited and uh, calls in advance will be credited calls in arrear will bring for future or the cancellation of shares and if it is issued at par the entry will be share capital to calls in arrear to share for future or you can write uh, share capital to share for future to share allotment to share first call to share second call like that also if it is issued at premium share capital securities premium to share for future to calls in arrear please remember securities premium will be credited at the time of for future ratio for future shares different cases are there if it is ratio at par bank to share capital if it is ratio at discount bank share for future to share capital if it is ratio at premium bank to share capital to securities premium sir and the last entry share for future to capital sir so please keep in mind all the entries and try to write how the number of debenture or share comes into the values at application allotment like that practice maximum to finish the six mark question successfully and uh, another area debenture the important things are there debentures can be issued at a discount that will create a loss so the due entry will be normal entry will be what debenture allotment discount on uh, discount on issue or loss on issue of debenture to debenchers and if it is issued at a premium always premium will be credited debenture allotment to debenture to securities premium reserve account and there is a possibility for issuing share or debenture consideration other than cash but nowadays the questions are asked like that we can bring bring together what integration type questions like uh, they are integrating these type of questions issue of uh, shares or debenture consideration other than cash uh, with another area also especially in debenture that will be connected with the the six different cases due entry will be asset to vendor when assets are purchased on uh, credit and vendor to debenture it is not debenture capital it is only debenture you please remember that area then it is issued at uh, to the vendor at a discount vendor discount on issue to debenture if it is issued at a premium vendor debenture a uh, vendor to debenture to securities premium all that things you have to remember and uh, there is a possibility for uh, if they are asking a uh, formal question from debenture by taking two areas sometimes uh, they asked in the previous board exams issue of debenture as collateral security kindly remember the entry concepts and uh, how you can finish this in the not to account also they will ask from very minority areas also and the terms of issue of debenture the different cases you please remember issued at uh, par and redeemable at par the entries are very very important and uh, issued at uh, discount and redeemable at uh, par there is a loss that is discount uh, and uh, third case issued at uh, premium redeemable at uh, premium that also you know securities premium will be there and uh, this is very very important hot level area the three cases which are integrated with another areas and here it is issued at par and redeemable at par there will be a possibility for loss 
our loss that loss will be uh, what debited in the second entry loss on issue of debenture and we can write off that also here in this case you know very well issue at a discount and redemption at a premium and the loss will be more because our discount is there creating loss and uh, redeeming or uh, repaying debenture at a premium also creating loss and the loss will be more and the last case issued at a premium and redeemable at a premium there are also a possibility for writing off of the loss because securities of premium security premium account is there and you have to remember the cases the uh, interest on debenture entries are there due entry debenture interest to debenture holders account then payment uh, made to holders account it will be debenture holders to bank and when we write off it will be statement of pnl to debenture interest last entry from debenture area you please remember how we can write off which are the sources we can use for writing off of discount or loss on issue of debenture security premium reserve statement of profit and loss to loss on issue of debenture that's all regarding debenture area moving to the 20 mark area that is financial statement of a company and uh, analysis of financial statement of a company my dear friends always remember the headings and subheadings three mark question sure question will come which which are the different heading shareholders fund is one heading then non current liability is another heading current liability is another heading and a uh, lot of items are coming you please remember which item then uh, subheading may be shareholders fund include uh, subheading like the share capital reserve and surplus money received against share warrant non current liability include uh, subheadings like long term borrowing def uh, deferred tax liability other long term liability long term position always remember what are the items coming in all, all these subheadings are and asset area, the two headings are there, non-current asset, current asset. Non-current asset include a subheading like a property, plant and equipment and intangible asset. Then another subheading, non-current investment, deferred tax liability, deferred tax asset, long-term loans and advances, other non-current asset. And uh, property, plant and equipment include, again, the uh, small headings, subdivisions like uh, property, plant and equipment, intangible asset, capital work in progress, intangible asset under development. Current asset include current investment, inventories, different cases are there, trade receivable, debtors and bills receivable, cash and cash equivalents, short term loans and advances, other current asset. My dear friends, moving to the next topic, you have to remember the format of statement of PL also. Statement of PL, it starts with the revenue from operation, other income will be added, so we will get total revenue. Then expenses will be there, cost of materials consumed, uh, uh, that type of all expenses will be added total expenses we will calculate and uh, that uh, difference between 3 and 5 will be uh, 3 and 4 will be the profit uh, before tax there will be some percentage of tax or amounts of tax that will be deducted then we will get profit after tax of the firm very important area for more question combative statement of profit and loss and combative statement of balance sheet will be there and uh, remember the additional areas after adding all the items in the question you have to find out absolute change we will take previous year a and the current year b and we have to calculate c absolute change absolute increase or decrease will be b minus a that means current year minus a and the percentage change how much percentage change increase or decrease d we will calculate c by a means absolute change by previous year value into 100 and you have to calculate it calculate all that value from revenue from operation to profit after tax and see competitive statement also the same format we are calculating absolute change and percentage change and here common size income statement or statement of profit and loss we are taking the revenue from uh, from operation value as the denominator value to find out all the percentage so the percentage for percentage of revenue from operation will be 100 for previous year and current year all other values will be calculated by taking the total revenue from operation as denominator value and the common size balance sheet also please remember how will you get that to 45 percentage 4 lakh 50 thousand divided by 10 lakh into 100 that means the total of balance sheet will be taken and uh, how will you get the 50 percentage percentage of balance sheet total we are taking 10 lakh divided by 20 lakh into 100 like that you have to find out very very simple idea sure questions will be there for four months and the accounting ratios you have to remember the four categories liquidity ratio solvency ratio activity or turnover ratio profitability ratios uh, 
you have to remember the equations also liquidity ratio include uh, current ratio and equity ratio and solvency ratio include uh, debt to equity ratio interest coverage ratio debt to asset ratio then uh, debt to capital employed uh, ratio then total asset to debt ratio all that things are there activity ratios include very very important thing inventory turnover ratio and uh, how to find out the trade receivable turnover ratio trade payable turnover ratio working capital turnover ratio fixed asset turnover ratio net asset turnover ratio all the equations you please try to buy hard profitability ratios include gross profit ratio net profit ratio operating ratio operating profit ratio then return on capital or return on cap uh, investment then you have to remember the last important area very very important area cash flow statement preparation there you have to remember the format and also you have to find out the net profit before tax using that what are the items coming in cash flow from operating activity we are taking the first item net profit before tax with that we are adding the non cash items like depreciation goodwill return off intangible assets return off that we are adding loss on sale will be added interest on long term borrowings will be added and we will deduct the non cash incomes like uh, dividend received uh, commission received uh, profit on sale of fixed assets with that we will get on value operating profit before working capital changes and we are adding the items like uh, increase in current liability decrease in current asset and we are deducting increase in current asset and decrease in current liability and also we are deducting the current year income tax paid then we will get the cash flow from cash inflow or outflow from operating activity this is another area investing activity here very shortly you have to remember purchase of all type of fixed assets will be taken as negative sale of all fixed asset will be taken as positive and interest received rent received dividend received will be treated as inflow of cash flow from investing activity and uh, last area financing activity you have to remember like uh, when we are issuing shares debentures taking bank loan bank overdraft cash inflow positive values when we are repaying bank loan share debenture all that things it will be cash outflow and also we are paying interest or a dividend dividend may be proposed dividend and interim dividend and every time there is an adjustment proposed dividend we are taking as what the previous year value after that we will find out the net increase in cash and cash equivalents a plus b plus c and with that we will add cash and cash equivalents at the beginning of the period then we will get cash and cash equivalents at the end of the period and uh, if there is any current investment we will add opening cash and cash equivalents plus opening current investment and uh, we will get the answer the total of closing cash and cash equivalents plus current investment and uh, you have to remember the format for the calculation of net profit before tax see this is the format current year profit minus previous year and uh, what amount transferred the difference between general reserve will be added and if it is negative will be deducted interim dividend will be added proposed dividend previous year will be added provision for taxation current year will be added and any tax refunded will be deducted and also please remember how to prepare the uh, fixed asset account or provision for tax account fixed asset account you have to write the opening balance in the debit side and closing balance in the credit side any selling of asset by bank any depreciation for the asset by depreciation and any loss on asset by loss on sale and uh, in the case of profit that will come in the debit side and the balance will be two bank and the two bank value will be treated as purchase of asset and the buy bank will be treated as sale of asset and regarding the provision for taxation you have to remember that account opening balance will come in the credit side the closing balance will come in the debit side any income tax paid during the year will be debited to bank and any income tax made during the year will be credited and accumulated depreciation also we will prepare all of you please remember all these things and all the formats and thank you for watching all these videos kindly watch the entire video two parts are there for quick revision of accountancy hope this video is very useful kindly share with your friends and all the very best for your successful completion of accountancy exam and if you want any type of videos related to business studies and accountancy you will get it from my channel kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends Thank you. All the very best.